Welcome to Time Trial Reviews, the show where I review a game in under five minutes. When you think of theme park management games, you'd probably think of Roller Coaster Tycoon, but RCT was not the first game to do this. No, the first theme park management game, to my knowledge, was the aptly titled Theme Park by Bullfrog Productions, and they even made a sequel a year before Roller Coaster Tycoon came out. But does Sim Theme Park, also known as Theme Park World internationally, match up to the great Roller Coaster Tycoon? Let's find out. This review will focus on the PlayStation version, but there was also a superior PC version of the game. By the way, presumably the only reason why they renamed it in North America was to capitalize on the Sim City games, because EA is all about that money. When you start the game, you get to start your first park based around prehistoric environments. You'll have to place stuff around your park and manage research and development, as well as your staff members and prices. At first, your options are very limited in what rides and attractions you can put in your park, but eventually you'll be able to get some other things including roller coasters. The coaster building in this game is the simplest system I've ever used. It's definitely not as customizable or versatile as the coaster building in Roller Coaster Tycoon, but it's very simple. And really, that's representative of a lot of this game. There's pretty much no micromanaging or customization. It's a very simple, bare-bones experience which is easy to pick up and immediately understand, unlike RCT which takes a little bit to get used to. Also unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon, this game has an advisor that tells you information about your park to try and help you. I can't even really tell what he's supposed to be, maybe he's like a, some kind of exclamation point? I don't know. But he's so annoying! He's constantly popping up, sometimes being very helpful. Lines for your rides are getting pretty long and the visitors are bored. You might try shortening the ride time. But most of the time, just doing this. Your visitors are having a great time. Visitors Keep find the good work. Prices Bathrooms very are cheap. getting toxic. Maybe you should People are dropping like flies. And the flies are dropping like all of the shops each other. that are currently available. You should have a janitor to control the area. Are not about raising it? Visitors My find the chicken prices are so very cheap. Maybe you should Maybe you should. It's hands down the worst thing about the game. And even though you can turn the tutorials off, he sometimes tells me information that I need to know, which makes me hesitant to turn it off. The graphics are also pretty ugly on the PS1 version. The park guests are just 2D images and they look like a pixelated mess up close. Also, how can some of these rides even exist? Like these bounce houses with no walls. This whole park is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Unfortunately, people can't die in your park like in Roller Coaster Tycoon, and that's not even entirely a problem just because it's fun when people die in your park, but that was actually an important aspect of RCT. You'd have to keep accidents from happening so people won't be afraid to come to your park. In this game, the worst that can happen when your rides break down is, well, nothing. Your goal in this game is to collect gold tickets to open up new parks and, optionally, to unlock the camcorder. Once you have four gold tickets, you get to buy a camcorder which will allow you to explore your park in a first person view. In this view, you can play some mini games on some of your park games like Whack-A-Mole and other stuff like that. You can also ride your roller coasters and other rides. The novelty of riding your roller coasters is fun at first, but wears out pretty quickly. Which is also representative of a lot of the rest of the game. It's fun for a bit, but after a while it just gets kind of boring. So if you want a great theme park game, Go for Roller Coaster Tycoon, but if you want something simpler, Sim Theme Park is a good alternative. 